Welcome back to the MBH Podcast, Money Buys Happiness, Season 4, Episode 11. Did I get it? You got it. Okay, holy fuck, Peter. That's the first time I ever got it right. Anyways, I'm I'm not going to go too deep into it. We have a fucking interesting guest today. Have you ever done anything like this before? I've done many things. I haven't really been on the podcast with uh, you guys. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> so I that's mean, it. Uh, you know, everything looks good. <laughs> Appreciate it. For those who don't know, you can Peter, get nervous. Here, no, come I'm on. Good. I'm good. Yeah. For those for those who may not know you, since you're so fucking huge in the city now, for those people who don't know you, who yeah. are you? What do you do? My name is uh, Peter Triantos. I'm a Canadian artist. I'm an international artist, but uh, more importantly, I'm a Canadian that uh, landed here in 1966 and uh, uh, an immigrant. And uh, that always remains with you, no matter if you're Canadian citizen. So I have a lot of things to prove here <laughs> in many ways. You've been proving them though. Yeah, You've been yeah, proving yeah. them. No, no, because uh, just to, 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 you know, for Big myself, like for myself, yeah. for myself, you know, I don't, I, it's not a competition against nobody. I want to make my parents that are both passed away I want to make them proud even more, you know, as much as uh, even if they're, you know, I feel they're, they're watching me, who, you know, spirit wise. Uh, they gave me this opportunity uh, coming here in 1966 uh, off the boat, 13 days that same oh, how, fresh wait, off the boat. How old were you? I was five years old, landed in Halifax. Uh, they gave us a, a bag with a toothbrush, a comb, a silver dollar. Uh, <laughs> I never had smelled the candy in my life. I smelled the toothpaste. I ate it. They gave something to my brother. <laughs> So, you know, <laughs> this is the journey. You know, I remember that boat, uh, gloomy skies, 13 days, didn't really like it. You know, yeah, wish yeah, I was yeah. back on the farm. But I, I want to talk about your journey, though. Yeah. I want to talk about your yeah. journey because it's fucking very interesting. For people who don't know, you yeah. were a carpenter first, yeah, right? Yes, yes. Break that down. What you were doing first, how you got into painting, yeah. that, that whole situation. You know, uh, Anthony, I did everything, man. I worked. I don't want to get it. I was a waiter. I was a busboy. Uh, you know, I was a uh, every job you could think of. I delivered flowers during the recession. I mean, I never seen. I don't even want to tell you about this one, but I mean, I was delivering flowers to bike riders. You know, dozen roses. I said, "What? This job's got to stop." I don't even know what I was delivering. But, you know what I mean? But you know, I did every job, and uh, deep down inside. I felt that I had a card, you know, like a, I don't want to say Trump card, because uh-huh. the word Trump is rotten, and, yeah. Yeah. you know. So uh-huh. I had a card in my back pocket, and I knew one day that I'm going to pull this out, bro. Yeah. So if anybody <laughs> just pisses me off, I'm out of here. So I, I threatened a lot of people at jobs, you know. I said, what are you doing? You know, you, you shouldn't do it, yeah? I just leave right now, brother. <laughs> so yeah. I always had that, you know, and I leave. Yeah. And uh, But I learned a lot at every job I did. I, I uh uh, you know, uh, but I always uh, never feared just taking off immediately, quit, see you later. And then you did it at 47? I did at 47, uh, you know, and I was very fortunate uh, that uh, my father, uh, you know, a Greek immigrant, and uh, he was the best. He never deterred me. Mm-hmm. He didn't say, you know, he said to me, what are you doing? You making any monsters today while I was painting? But, <laughs> you know, I had another young uh, uh guy there and he was telling me that his father he wanted to be a chef and his father said to him i didn't uh, put you through university to be a uh, chef you know yeah, and i was yeah. like what buddy you can be whatever the hell you want nobody yeah. cares what you spent on a person you spent on a kid so what that money's gone he can do whatever he wants and and i got to be thankful that my father although he he didn't know much about art he never said to me don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> be a lawyer, be a diocese, do whatever you want. I know you're going to bring uh, bread, you might not bring butter, but he had faith in me. And that, I look back at, it was a very important uh, thing in my life that he gave me that, you know what, do what you want, brother. Yeah. So so at 47, you go, okay, I'm going to make the jump. Yeah, I made the what jump. What was that jump like, though? Like how Because you, you were a carpenter, so... Well, I could tell you the jump was I jumped once. <laughs> and then I jumped back. I jumped at about 33. I opened up a gallery. Okay. And I was selling like old masters. And I remember I built it. <laughs> and uh, 
you know, did all the work, uh, hardwood and everything. And I remember opening the first day and I hid in the back room and I said, Jesus, man, I, I had some dress clothes on. I was 33 years old. I can't imagine how naive I was. And I said, I hope nobody comes in here, man, because I'm, I'm scared to death. Go on. And I was afraid to, 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 I hope nobody comes in here. Wow. I built it and I was like, <laughs> and then, you know, things went just, uh, you know, I was still working construction and one Saturday, I was, it was freezing cold, I was working, and I said, let me, you know, it was too cold to work. Went back home, started uh, working on the gallery. I had some uh, construction boots on, and somebody was knocking on the door, and I was like, buddy, I'm closed, you know, and he kept knocking, and I said, this guy doesn't get it, I'm closed here, you know. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> open the door, and uh, bang, I sold like $40,000. And uh, Come on. I remember going to the Come house, on. I used my brother's truck, and I was like, Lord, in my ear, man, is this it? Like, you yeah. know, I never made this kind of money in my life, you know, and but, but <laughs> it was freaking me out. So, but it it was a new world, and I remember it was fresh snow. I was driving into that guy's house with my brother's truck, and <laughs> you know, I was making like thirty thousand dollars, man, in my pocket. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember asking that question. Am I there, Lord? Am I here now? Am I here? Is this it? <laughs> it wasn't quite it. But well, you know, I, you know, I, you know, I was making two, three thousand dollars a week, uh, a month, four thousand dollars a month to make that kind of money. It was like, woo. But I think, like, for for people, like, even, like, okay, even some people my age, would say, right, twenty five, they're yeah. gonna go, fuck, twenty five. I'm I'm already late. I don't know. I'm yeah. so late. I don't know. Yeah. What yeah. I, I'm supposed to know what I gotta do in my life. Yeah. You made that jump at forty seven. Right? Yeah. And, but, and look how successful you've become. Uh, you know, success, I was always successful. <laughs> Even if I was playing guitar in my basement, like, I don't give a shit about what is success. And guys, you know what the problem is? Uh, uh, people at 22 think they're old because the other guy's 20 uh, years old, you're 22, you go, fuck, man. <laughs> you know, he's 20, I'm fucking embarrassed, I'm 22. You know, yeah. you got to put it in, 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 in uh, how, how do you look at things, right? You know, you gotta feel comfortable in your skin. You gotta communicate with everybody on the same level. It can't be you're old, I'm young. It has to be a human level. Yeah. You gotta have that love, man. You're talking to somebody. Why waste your time if you're faking it? Be authentic. Like, I don't give a shit. I, my wife pulls my shirt. Stop talking. You're talking a little bit too much. And I kind of, okay, that's good. Because everybody's my friend. Everybody, I, 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 I meet people. Wait, I was going to say, what, what's interesting, you guys can probably attest to this, is like, You've never like treated me like I was younger. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there was always respect. You just came in and you were just yourself. Yeah, like, you're you're dying. Friend. You're dying here already. Yeah. Yeah. And that's this, this, uh, that, that's what, like, literally from the first day yeah. I met you. The first day I met, first yeah. I met Peter. I go to his I go to his um uh his gallery on uh, Brandon Avenue. Yeah, the studio there. Yeah. And in the studio, and I go in there and uh, I was introduced to some friends and. He starts fucking doing like judo on me. <laughs> you know, yeah, like, yeah, what do you mean, like headlocks? Yeah. I'm like, oh, I just met this guy. There's like a hundred thousand dollar painting on the wall. He did it in fucking judo, and it's been the same. That's one thing I can attest and say that you actually have been very authentic. Thank you. Yeah. Since you have to be, bro. Yeah. And, and I think, that's what it is. And I think yeah. it also it shows it shows uh, you do a good job of it showing it online as well. Yeah. You know, it's funny because I, it's, it's I mean, primitive. I, I, was, I was watching online yeah. before I met you, too. Yeah, and when I met you, it was the same thing. <laughs> Listen, man, the same, I, exact same you know, I was on your show a couple of days ago. Kids come up to me and say, hey, man, I don't really know you, but I follow you on Instagram. And, you know, my wife's like, oh, fame. Now, listen, you know what? <laughs> Authenticity. We, I do my Instagram so primitive. I don't even have to. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, it's <laughs> like, you know, it, it try to stay uh, and see. Who are you? You can't go in your life pretending you're somebody else and yeah. then want it's like having a relationship, but I'm talking to my wife, hey, how you doing? I'm this guy, I'm that guy. Oh, you don't even know who the fuck you are, bro. <laughs> yeah. So guess what? You're all confused. Oh, she's fucked, man. She changed. No, you changed. You don't even know who you are. You have to be that real yeah, person. Yeah, yeah. So okay. then there's no problems knowing who you are. Yeah. If yeah. I'm fucking lying who I am every day, how do I know which day I'm who and what the fuck? <laughs> true. <laughs> it's true. Were you always, were you always like that or yeah. did it take time to... Always. Like yeah, a yeah. Saturday comes and I'm playing this guy today. <laughs> Who are you playing today, by the way? Yeah, yeah. You got to dress different. You got to be the talk, same yeah. guy every time, and 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 you know it's it's never perfect because look, there's dynamics of human beings. You can't be laughing all day because you'd be locked away. There yeah. has to be some tears. There has to be emotion. But I'm curious. Right? I'm curious. I feel like in the industry you're in, 
was there ever pushback at the beginning when you came in as authentic? I, I want to say I'm saying as authentic as you were because you come in with energy, yeah. and, I, and I can imagine like the the fucking <laughs> art world, the high you know high yeah. end art and these fucking they, they, fancy they, they people. They tried uh, to kind of scold me in a way where you know I was met with uh, some things like you know you you cannot uh, represent yourself uh, as a gallery; it's unethical and you're selling your own works. I was like, you know, <laughs> I don't get this because you don't own this planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, like there's no rules. Where'd you get this rule? Another person told me you shouldn't hang your own paintings. Again, it's unethical. I said, is that what it is? Unethical. Yeah, you can't hang your own paintings? Yeah, it's all rules that, that they make up. Like, here's the no, bottom cause, line. Because like he like goes into every house yeah. when someone buys, when someone like buys from meet. him, he goes and actually installs it in their of house. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, but no, what other artists you ever heard doing but, that? But why it's looked down upon? Like they're, they're well, trying they to say. People told me this and, 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 you know, I don't want to say some big names. You yeah. always try to, I really didn't have any, <laughs> f like I, you know, I brushed it off. Like, what yeah, yeah. I have zero. Uh, it didn't affect me at all. I remember it. You see what it is, is this. When I was about 17 years old, I went into a gallery and uh, I told the guy, you know, hey, by the way, I'm an artist. <laughs> and the guy said, yeah. And I said, maybe you need somebody to help you here. I can restore whatever, some paintings. And he said, how did you get in here? He told me. I said, well, <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I guess already, that's a no. You know, I guess that's a no. I guess that puts a gloom over the entire <laughs> evening here. Let's just yeah, yeah. So I left. And uh, then I, I had, uh, so like you say, how does it happen? You put everything together. I, I worked with uh, New York dealers, some big names, you know, Philip Guggenheim, other places in New York that but, but they I'm, control. But but I'm, I'm thinking like outside of like, okay, those things where you're putting your paintings up yourself, you're yeah. doing your own gallery. Like I'm talking like actually from an energy perspective because yeah. you come with energy. Yeah. What, like, did you ever face backlash or even just people kind of wanting to shy away from you? Because I feel like you walk into that room yeah. at night on, in Yorkville and everyone's in a suit, whatever. You show up in your fucking painted <laughs> no. shirt and you're like, No, I'd be, I'll be honest with you. I, you know, I, they treat me like so good. I, yeah. I'm actually even surprised. Interesting. Because okay. I mean, like, uh, I was the same guy who built everybody's home. <laughs> that they didn't even give me a glass of water. <laughs> so now all of a sudden I'm getting the keys to the cottage and here you need my car or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of surprising to me that art has given me a voice. I was in Korea, people listening to me, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made little kids paint. Mm. I painted live in Korea. I went back two years later where there was kids there, you know, they were writing to the gallery. Oh, my kid was healed. I said, what are we, Jesus Christ? Now I told my <laughs> wife. But you know what happened is they saw something and two years later I go down there and there's a kid with the parents holding a jelly bean cake and this kid who was written off in school as a painter. Yeah. Ain't nobody can pay you the kind of money, the feeling you get when you see this kid and you say, I'll take this kid to Canada, I'll have a show. I'll yeah. go through it. I'll yeah. put him in a studio. Uh -huh. Because for me, that's what's important. Yeah. And I remember when I went to Korea, you know, make a long story short, some guy said to me, he said, what are you gonna do in Korea? What is it that you're gonna do in Korea? <laughs> and I said, well, I'm gonna go there and then if I could change some kid's mind to do what I'm doing. He said, you're arrogant, aren't you? I said, no, really, that's what I wanna do. <laughs> anyway, I kind of stopped it. And then when I went to Korea, I did exactly that, man. Yeah. That was so funny because they asked me to paint life and I was scared. You know, I had uh, uh, a company give me $10,000 worth of paints in the afternoon, there's 70 people watching me. I said, let me do it. No blueprint. And I got all these Korean people that are taught, this is the way you do it, you go to school, and here I am with this canvas. And I just explode, and the guy didn't even move from yeah. there. And I gave it to the kid, here you paint, all of a sudden, everybody came to life because there's no blueprint. Yeah. There's no fucking blueprint in life, bro. Yeah, yeah. Just fucking make a mistake, <laughs> yeah, fix yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Here's the kid, the, the curator was like looking at me when I gave the, the brush to the kid, like, what are you doing? No, everybody's an artist, not me, yeah. not you, yeah, yeah. everybody. Everybody's a creator. Okay, the I problem see. is what they tell you is don't do it. When you create, 
you come alive. Oh, you cut that piece of wood, you start biting your nails. All of a sudden, you're two feet off the ground. You ain't need no drugs, really. Yeah. Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. I felt it. Yeah. I remember one time I painted, I thought I was two feet off the ground. That's the first time I caught that buzz. I said, that's creating. Yeah. That's creating. That's not copying yeah. a fan blowing another fan. No, this fan creating the power yeah sitting there and breaking your ground I'm, I'm curious dude, what, what are your thoughts on what why schools don't push that more like don't don't uh, you know what I mean yeah. I, I never went to they school don't push it because school is uh, unfortunately probably get a lot of backlash for this thousands of people writing say you knock down schools yeah I will do that I left in grade <laughs> nine uh, uh, I think it, just because a German sh a shepherd is obedient and a Siberian husky doesn't listen, which one is more intelligent? Obedience doesn't necessarily mean intelligence. That's fine. Because you got a kid that Let's listens go. to you and you got a Siberian husky that likes to run, he's not going to sit. He's out of here. So which one is obedience is not intelligence. So school is a rule book on how to be a human being at a very weird level of entrapment yeah. Yeah, yeah do this that do not stray away from these rules sit down for me school was a uh, uh you know my head was like this i'm looking everywhere the teacher's <laughs> going focus that's fixation to me yeah i'm gonna look at you all day buddy there's a bird out there you know like <laughs> Focus yeah. is fixation. Yeah. I don't yeah, want to yeah, yeah. be looking at you all day, bro. All of a sudden, I would grab like chestnuts from outside in my gym bag. As soon as the teacher looked, oh man, I, we caused so much trouble. I mean, <laughs> like I left from there. Uh, I'm being a little bit too honest. I should really say all <laughs> no, this stuff. It. But, you know, it. The truth is this. Yeah. How are you going to tell me? I remember one time. How are you going to tell me how to live my life, man, when you ain't, like, I'm looking at you as a young kid saying, I'm not really too impressed, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you're just a it's teacher. True, like, true, true. You know, like, pay yeah. the teacher more. Pay the teachers, rookie of the year, $10 million a year, then maybe I'll listen to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, if you're not paying them, if you're only giving them 60000 I ain't going to listen to you, bro. Yeah. It's not enough <laughs> to get me interested. <laughs> Pay them more. What are you paying them? Yeah, yeah, pay them more. You gotta pay them pay more. Them more. Facts, yeah. I had a teacher in grade six. He was the best. It's he told, true. He was so good, and I never forget him. And Alan A. Aaron's. He was actually an actor. I think he was puffing dope back then. <laughs> with the ball bottoms, took us on like, trips, you know, <laughs> field trips. And uh, you know, he was probably the great. Although he was so rough, he was a real person. Yeah. And, you know, he was collecting comic books. He was a hippie. He was yeah, a yeah. good guy. He was a cool guy. After that, I went to grade seven, and I saw a guy like, I lost it right there. I said, I got to get out of here now because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. this guy was real. Yeah, yeah. He cared about everybody. And he wasn't, you know, he would tell you straight out. He said stuff like, you know, uh, I don't want to mention, but he was straightforward. Honesty yeah. Yeah, yeah. is very much not uh, something people like to use because it hurts. It's right? true. I can easily lie. Hurts. You know, yeah. you can always be honest. You know, <laughs> if you got to save your family, you might have to lie. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. you can't say honesty is the best policy. It yeah. depends when. <laughs> it depends we're, on what I could be getting myself. <laughs> the career is starting to dwindle. But listen, <laughs> you know, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Were there any artists that you looked up to at that point? Not anybody I knew. No, I eh? remember. I grew up in an area where. So where did you see it? Where were you inspired to start painting? And I grew up in an area where, you know, even to this day, a lot of people say to me, which part of Italy are you from? I, yeah. You know, Reggio Calabria, yeah. where I, I grew up in an area where was a lot of Italians, right? Yeah. And uh, coming to Canada, you know, my friends Dominic, Nino, Giovanni, you know, <laughs> said, mom won't make me a sandwich type of thing. Like everybody was, so I grew up with kind of like a, a slang, and you know, and I didn't know for years. Nobody really was hard lovers, but they all had like, my friend Giovanni was a great artist, and uh, you know, in grade three, they sat me down. The teacher gave me a big piece of paper, and uh, I, I remember the fucking day, man, when it hit me. The bug yeah. hit me, you know. 
they gave me this piece of paper and I was like, mm. <laughs> and then I turned around, I see this guy Giovanni, he was doing Tony Esposito, <laughs> the colors, the markers, the pads, the eyes, so I'm up, Holy and fuck. I was riveted, yeah. and then all of a sudden I turned to this guy, his name was Zora, and I remember him, and he was doing some landscape with the sun, it burned the hole right in my head, I was like, what the fuck, I knew right there, I'm finished, bro, yeah. uh, I was finished, you know, I got to work within 30 days, 20 days. He loved it. I was like, fucking pain. Teachers will grab me. Wake up. <laughs> you know, nonstop. I, I took it to like, uh, that's it. I just, I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. And, uh, and uh, I think. Uh, but but why, why, did you, why did you not pursue it fully? What made you actually go and be a carpenter for so long? You know, even if you did well arrogance, or whatever. A little bit of arrogance. A little bit of reality where my father was, uh, my parents weren't that wealthy. I went to, to grade nine uh, central tech art course. I think I remember me and a couple of guys there, Gil and Tony, uh, Portuguese guys. And uh, I said, our career is finished. I remember it was like something like, you know, $80 back then. Uh, first day of school, $80, you know, protractor, this, that, this. Why did my father ain't making that much a week? I gotta see you later. I don't wanna tell you that we, we did break the lockers with one of those big. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so it was over, you know. So you know it was over, and I know it would have been good for me to study. But what, I like the is, scenic route. I yeah. like finding myself. Well, what, okay, so when you went to, I guess, get a normal career, start working, and and all this shit, you had a bunch of jobs. Okay, were you ever thinking in the back of your head, you're like, I actually should be painting right now? Every time. Uh, I never had a normal career. I always liked uh, self-employment. Yeah. Uh, I, you don't realize how important your work is until you're away from it. Yeah, And true. I remember I would work construction and really hard, you know, winter and summer, heat and roofs, no safety belts and framing homes. And I spent six months in Muskoka, uh, you know, million dollar cottages. But when you're away from your art for a long time, and then you get into a room and you see one of your paintings, and you feel like crying, man, because you go, <laughs> I just want to paint, man. Yeah, yeah. I just want to do this. Yeah. I kind of want to, what are we fighting for? What yeah. is everybody fighting for? Freedom. Yeah. I want to fucking go to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck wants to go to work, bro? Nobody. What are yeah. we trying to do? What is everybody trying to do? is get that freedom we're fighting for freedom because yeah. it's a little bit of unfairness and the new generation ain't gonna put up with the shit you're gonna take 40 years to pay your fucking mortgage they ain't doing it yeah. that's why you know cryptocurrency <laughs> is gonna hit it's gonna hit hard because that dream that i was sold has sailed yeah, I, I agree I with worked that. harder than any man alive, bro. Yeah. I don't want to tell you. Yeah. Where's that fucking ship that comes in with this coin? Oh, <laughs> it's not coming. So, <laughs> so, so in reality, no, the truth yeah, yeah, is, you know, uh, and, and, and good for them. I did a painting like that, right? The, the, uh, you know, of the young guy going here. Fuck you. But, you know. uh, okay, I'm curious now. These are things that I've just wondered since I've known you for so long. I've seen it seemed like your progression. I know you for about five years or so. I've seen the progression from five years has been crazy, but that whole time, like obviously it's yourself and your wife, Serafina. She's yeah. been like a, probably a big uh, pushing Huge. factor in what you've done and the way you've approached it. But how the fuck do you get to where you're at? Like international paintings, painting selling for tens of thousands of dollars, fucking multiple studios. Uh, like how, like, also, also, and, and you know, okay, so we'll start there because then my second question is, is like, you're going a pretty unconventional route with these studios because yeah. I feel like everyone, you're, like you're saying, crypto, NFTs, all this yeah. bullshit. Yeah. Now you're saying, I'm going to open up fucking studios everywhere. What's the game plan? What's the move there? You know, the first game plan uh, is that I don't have a game plan. Yeah. Because things can change, so you have to be a bit of a chameleon. But... You know, the way I kind of branded myself was with different galleries at different areas. It kind of worked, and it got my name out there. Instead of going to that gallerist, and he controls everything, and if he says I'm no good, then I'm no good. But I put it matters into my own hands, and I opened my own gallery, so it didn't matter if I wasn't any good. <laughs> Even though I was good, and I could, I could be a better painter than I really am. But, you know, commissions and that kind of bog you down. Uh, but 
you know, you give me $10 million, I'm not going to paint, I'll be on the beach. So <laughs> that's a fact. So that's a danger uh, yeah. with artists. Uh, having Serafina there for me, even though she pulls the balloons down because I dream a lot and it can be dangerous. So having somebody that backs you, uh, that's priceless. I mean, her first day in the gallery, she told me, uh, go out, have a good time. And I had only one gallery. I said, what do you know about galleries? She was into pharmaceutical. And she took the, the day and, and I gave her the keys and uh, I went out, I had a espresso. I came back and I said to her, you know, arrogantly and jokingly, I said, so how did it go? And she said to me, I sold out the whole gallery. I said, yeah, good for you. I didn't believe it. And she did. Wow, and the fact on. was that she sold the whole gallery out because she believed in me. And that really, I didn't have to give it any thought. I didn't even believe in myself. So yeah. I could sell maybe two paintings, one painting, three. She sold everything. Yeah, yeah. And she sold everything. She sold the gallery out. She wow. told me, take them off the stretchers. They're going to New York. <laughs> I wow. said, you know. I can attest to that. I, I've, seen, I've yeah. seen her in the studio. Yeah, she's a, when she, you, she you were just talking. Yeah, and, so she believed in me. It wasn't that she was skilled, but she believed in me. You know, being married to an artist is not the greatest thing. You know, it's always <laughs> about me. And I feel for her. You've got to be strong. She's a very strong woman, and uh, what am I doing? It's I'm you... trying to make sure that the young generation understands one thing. If I'm given a voice, I'm not going to blow it away and squander it into talking gibberish. It's not about money. Yeah. I can make money as a builder. It's about setting this straight that you need to be focused and believe in yourself because ain't nobody going to help you. There's not that one person that everybody's like, what kind of magic paint are you using? <laughs> yeah, the one you buy at the Home Depot, <laughs> it says magic. When I'm your age, I'll have that too. No, you won't. Age just gives you wrinkles, bro. It doesn't guarantee success. It's hard work. It, people don't realize that you got to make mistakes. Yeah, sure. You have to make all kinds of mistakes and then turns where you're driving that car, there's a, a bump here and, 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 and move. And, but to be authentic, to be genuine, not to be an arrogant guy, I'm better than you, look at me, who, to, be, to, you know, to be authentic in, in what you are and, and what are your goals because as an older person, 60 years old, I, I want to make sure that I am doing good things for humanity. That's a fact. Yeah. I want to make sure that I can help. Nobody helped me in a way. Like a few people that did help me and I looked up to them. Uh, you know, I wish I had more, but they, they, they molded to who I am and the morals and uh, of trying to do good. Those, those uh, things, you have to be meeting good people. You can't stay in a pack, you know, like gangs and <laughs> stuff. You become a, like a wolf. Anybody knew her, you know, like, <laughs> so you have to meet people. I have friends in Amsterdam and in, uh, all over the world, uh, Switzerland. I have friends in, uh, in, in Miami, in New York, uh, wherever you go, you should have friends. Be genuine instead of pretending, well, tomorrow I'm not going to see this guy who cares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? And, and yeah. How, do you, how do you keep this energy? I got to know. What's the secret? How do you keep the energy uh, at 60, bro? You know, my bro? brothers, uh, I'm the only guy in the family that's kind of weird like that. Uh, <laughs> I wake up in the morning. You know, I think sometimes I even drive myself nuts, but uh, I'm always... But, you know, if you don't like what you're doing, yeah. you're not going to get up. Yeah, you're not yeah. going to have that energy. You're not going to... But if you, you know, <laughs> you got to like what you're doing and you got to see... Uh, uh, some rainbow at the end of that rainy day right yeah yeah that's the only thing that keeps you going yeah you know what are we doing like there's so many people that can tell you do this you know i need a real estate to tell me where i live i need a culinary expert to tell me what to eat yeah no bro i'm gonna try things even if i tell you stay away from that fruit you're gonna test it yeah i don't care you have to test it yeah. see how it tastes uh, so these are the mistakes you have to make, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. as a young kid, your parents will say, don't go out tonight, you know, of come course. on. <laughs> That's the best thing, man, yeah. for you to get, uh, make a few mistakes, mm -hmm. you know, become the person th that you are. You can't be sheltered from anything. You guys know uh, by what you guys are doing, like, uh, 
You don't have to be doing this, you're doing it for a reason. There's a voice that you have inside you that wants to, you know, look, I got a pastor that has next door to me and I'm preaching to him, brother. Yeah. I said, if it was up to me, <laughs> once in a while you gotta unleash the belt, yeah. you know. You know, even in the church, <laughs> you know, you, yeah. look, you, you gotta be. Can't and hold back, there, can't hold back. And the pastor's was, I said, no, no, don't listen to me, I know what I'm talking about. But you know, you, you have to be firm once in a while in your direction, mm -hmm. because here's how it is. Say you're working on a new project. Mm -hmm. You don't know where you're heading. Yeah. But there's somebody telling you, hey, I would do it this way. Yeah. But mm -hmm. They don't really know which way. They're just wasting your time. I usually say right away, which way is that? Because if you knew, <laughs> you'd grab my hand and then yeah. lead me. But you don't know. You're just wasting my time. I quickly leave from that. Yeah. So you got to watch because people, you know, we're animals, man. We yeah. love comfort. Yeah. Yeah. Never stray away from comfort. You have to. You have to, yeah. You know, look, man, when I, when I got to go to New York or something, I'm bitching all the way to the airport. <laughs> yeah. When I finally get there, I'm like, wow, what was I bitching about? Yeah. Because like a cat, I don't want to yeah, go. Yeah. Yeah. Staying on this uh, yeah. perch here. When you get there, we see the fucking videos yeah. on Instagram. Of yeah, course. you learn stuff. Look, <laughs> yeah. at, I went to Korea three times, man. I went to Amsterdam. I went to, like, I went all over Switzerland. I mean, sort of, uh, you know, Miami, Miami. Uh, everywhere. Yeah. New York, Miami. like, so many places, right? Miami's Miami. uh, the greatest <laughs> fake world. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah, how, how, how much, how often are you painting right now? Like, what's your schedule? Like, you painting every day? I have zero schedule on that. <laughs> uh, I, I paint in my sleep. I'm painting right now. Do, like, do you, I mean, do you paint when you want, or if someone's asking? Like to well, create I, something. I, I, I'm 40 commissions behind right now. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I mean, I feel guilty even yeah. being away from the studio. Yeah. yeah. But when I'm in the studio, I'm not always painting, man. You, 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 you know, like, a, is a singer singing all the time? Yeah, no, no. Yeah. There's a whole other side that you don't when see. When he sings, he's ripping it out because he's, you know, you know, the passion has to build. Yeah. When I'm ready to paint, it might be a week sometimes. Yeah. Well, that's what People I want to ask. What them. inspires you when you're, when you're painting? It's a different world. I'm not like, yeah. I don't have five years to work on a sculpture. Yeah. When I paint, I paint in the 21st century. Yeah. I would paint on the floor. See you later. Yeah. All my series, the black and white series. <laughs> Is that always have, like, as an artist, have you always been that kind of artist, like doing, doing making art like I that? I had to. This is yeah. the world we live in. Yeah, yeah. You want to start working on a painting for 30 years? They'll come and take your house. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, look on the beat, yeah. you're not have a house. You know, I do the black and white series. It was a quick series. It's cool. It was about balance. Blah, blah, blah. See you later. Here's another one. Yeah, but, yeah, but people get mad. How long does it take you? It takes me 60 years. That's how long it takes me. You want yeah, the yeah, answer? That's, that's you know, how long does it take me? Yeah, Six yeah. minutes, 38 seconds. No, okay, so, so, so realistically, you're, you're making, how, how, how long does it take you to make the piece? Not talking about experience when you're actually going at it. It could take uh, three months, it could take a year, it could take two seconds. Okay, nice, yeah. beautiful. There's no rule with that. Yeah, or, yeah. It's what I learned over the years. Right? Oh, yeah. I've seen you fucking yeah. on Instagram. You, yeah. That's the thing, you're so vocal about it. You, you'll be like, things on the floor, yeah. you fucking whip the paint at it, yeah. and then 20K. <laughs> 20K, <laughs> take a nap. You know, but the money's like not, not even important because I'm giving you a piece of myself, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, what you want for it? Look, yeah. here's what it is. <laughs> uh, uh, people don't it. understand that what's the most important commodity we have is, or whatever you want to call it, uh, is it time? Time, yeah. I'm giving you my time, you're giving me my, uh, your time, right? Yeah. Right? True. That's so important. How much is it worth? You don't have a lot of abundance of it. It's yeah. limited. It's like Bitcoin. It's not like Dogecoin unlimited. <laughs> Dogecoin, but it's, uh, <laughs> you know. So you gotta be careful as you get older. Who are you spending that time with? Starts getting foolish, you're gonna have to say no. Yeah. I, I can't go on with this jargon when a guy's, you know. So I limit now what I'm listening to uh, want to have uh, good conversations with good people. You guys are doing something uh, very good. Why it's called the neighborhood? Because it's a gathering. It's a good thing. You look at the name, I'll tell you what yes, you guys sir. are up to. Yes, right? sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, of course. You, you, you can see the goodness in people. What is their intentions? Money plays a role. You need to pay the bills. But ultimately, what you're saying, you know, Life is an NFT, it goes down in the blockchain <laughs> somehow, right? Yeah. So, you know, uh, make sure that you do something good, uh, you know. So, I uh, think. being, being in, in art, what do you think about NFTs? Uh, 
Well, I'm going to put it uh, this way. What happened in the uh, early 19th century when no longer had to crush paint or pigment and tube painting came available and you can just buy the tube instead of crushing it. Impressionism was born. Was it a bad thing? No. Yeah. So NFTs will change the world of art in a good way. Wow. I mean, these phones have changed. Yeah. Instagram has made everybody visual. Everybody loves art. When I was growing up, you couldn't talk to a 20, 30-year-old uh, about art. Uh, you know, yeah. they're more exposed. People are more visual. So NFTs are very important. People will buy off a screen. Isn't that something different than when I was growing up? People wouldn't believe that you would buy off eBay or look at it. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. guys like uh, Elon Musk knew they created PayPal. They knew they they were uh, uh, people that saw visionaries. Yeah. Right. They saw. But but you you think you think NFTs are going to continue to go up in value and that they're going to hold their value like that? That's the road you see it going. Uh, one million percent, uh, one million percent. I think that there's going to be a currency switch, and uh, really? because I think that I said this yesterday, I'll say it again. I think that the fiat currency is already dead. Mm. It's just breathing its last breaths, and uh, it's going to be implemented a new system where everything will be documented, and uh, so a lot of people are going to get caught. Uh, with this, I think, uh, yeah, new system is about, yeah. uh, it's yeah. born already, and maybe 10% uh, of uh, Canadians are into crypto already. Yeah. Isn't that a lot? Yeah, it is a lot. It's going to be 30% by probably the end of the year, and uh, uh, it's going to... Is that what it is, 10%? Probably. I thought, it could be it sounds like yeah. a realistic number, yeah. to be yeah. honest. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, look at it. Uh, everybody's talking about it. So, how about, how about physical art? What do you think is going to... Do you think it'll become more valuable? You think... Or you think people will stop doing it? Very good question. I mean, take a look at handwriting. You, you know, one of you young kids who have good handwriting now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Go to the 19th no. century. These guys are masters. My, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you guys doing chicken scratch. I, yeah, yeah. I signed my signature. Guys, oh, wow. True. Yeah, yeah. Fucking signature. Like, I mean, yeah. notice. The yeah. hand move, you know, guys ain't using it. Yeah. Right? That guys don't even know their phone number, man. You know, like their mother's phone number. Yeah, they lose your phone. Check, How are you gonna call it. home? It's a different world. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? When I was a kid, like I said, I would run home. Mom, uh, any girls call me? No, see you. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. back out to the park. We yeah, didn't yeah. have phones. So yeah. We, uh, doesn't mean that it was a better world, or this is a better world. It's just a different time. It's different. Yeah, yeah. How do you how do you keep how do you keep your ear to the street so much? Like, dude, like. I don't know another person your age or yeah. even close to your age group mm. that is uh, like as um, I, I, as you know as knowledgeable. He looks like he's thirty. That's why it looks I know, like he's thirty. That, I, that, there's that too. There's that <laughs> too. Why. But I'm saying, no one's like, asking how old you are. Yeah, I'm sixty no. years old. I'm but sixty. But, I but I'm saying you you ear yeah you, you got your ear to the streets, yeah, man. Yeah, you're yeah. fucking. You're, you're, you you would have to like I mean listen I get involved in 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 anything and uh, you know I want to make sure that you know. I do have my ears open and my eyes open, and uh, I want to see, like, I mean, with the funk uh, uh, t-shirts that we made, you know, want to keep a young flavor. I'm not a graffiti artist, but I, I still dabble a bit with, uh, sp I'm not going to spray paint anybody's home, but I yeah. do it outside. I want to keep the flavor, I, I, you know, uh, you know, I see graffiti that I love. I mean, uh, you have to be open. In order to control something, you have to accept it. Yeah, open-minded, yeah. If you don't accept something, and I see it, I fight with people quite uh, often, which is stupid because I get caught up into their uh, fixation where, uh, you know, they're so quickly uh, angered. Well, why don't you invest in cryptocurrency or you're something like, <laughs> I don't know enough about it, so I'm out. Well, I know a bit about it. I can tell you. You want me to open a wallet for you? Here. So, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Like, you, you have to 
make an attempt to open a wallet. You actually, you actually got me on it. That's crazy. Yeah, so yeah. A, you were showing us crypto before this whole episode. You I wish like, I got yeah. more three, four apps. Yeah. It's crazy. You know, I wish I did get more. Like I have my own coin right now, Doc. Son, it's called. <laughs> yes, I sir. Pump that up in the <laughs> UTU one, and I see that uh, it's gonna go to the moon. And, and and if it doesn't go to the moon, it'll probably go to Pluto. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, everything yeah. is good if you put uh, work into it. Uh, I could tell you one thing, when you make a pizza at home, what do you put into it? The best ingredient you can put is love. Mm. And I know that for a fact, you know, I have a client of mine, a beautiful guy, Pizza Nova there. I know it's all about love, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? I order Pizza Nova because I love it. I'm pumping it right now. <laughs> you know why? The stock's about to go up. You know, <laughs> that's right. Up right now. Look, I'm telling you, it's about love. And you could see, you know, people using good ingredients, clean bottom of the beat. You know, look, you can mass produce an item. Like my art, I'm making a lot of paintings, but I make sure that I'm not releasing garbage. Yeah. I have to have some standard of it. Say, that's not leaving my studio, brother. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not ready. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? So uh, to be authentic is something that uh, is important. To be not somebody that... Uh, uh, you know, it's just uh, pretending, uh, you know what I mean, you <laughs> yeah, communicate yeah. with some yeah, people yeah. and you know, it's just going through yeah. emotions, not really authentic, yeah. not, mm -hmm. not uh, a character, right? You guys know, it's, it's almost a little bit difficult to be too real in today's world. Uh, you know, you got to watch what you're saying. And, and, and uh, you know, because at any minute, people are looking to just attack any, yeah. uh, you know, situation or whatever, especially politics, because, uh, you know, you're watching news nowadays that it's not really the news, brother. <laughs> this is a tabloid. So when you go home, you're watching this, you're going, you know, yeah. <laughs> who's paying for this? Yeah. So is it really news? So yeah. you gotta watch what you're watching and yeah. how's it, you know, it's a crazy world, man. You yeah. know, yeah. uh, no, it's your true. time is being sought after by everyone, right? 100%. Your attention too, yeah, your attention yeah. as well. You know, let me, let me say this. You guys have this, uh, uh, here, this podcast and you're, uh, uh, you know, uh, interviewing all kinds of people uh, and I'm honored to be here and uh, you know, I'm sure a lot of these people are going to end up uh, going down in history and uh, <laughs> people will look back at these interviews as important. Uh, you might not see it now. You have to understand that everything you do, if you do it with love, it is important. Yeah. To make sure, you know, I mean, uh, you know, I've donated to, to, to all, over the, all over the world. We donate to every a great cause. Why? Because I believe in helping one another, uh, you know, yeah, but but I think I think that also kind of ties into your job and what you do, because it, it, to 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 a certain extent, mm -hmm. like imagine like okay you 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 know you're here you're here doing a fucking podcast on yeah. a, what a Friday afternoon yeah. right? If you were fucking banging nails like you were however many years ago, yeah. it's a different story. So I I don't want to say it's easier to do good when you're. Uh, when, when you're, when you're doing prison. something you love, though, yeah. that's what it is. Yeah, it's easier that's to do good is. when you're doing yeah. something you love. You can do it as a carpenter. You gotta love being a carpenter, though. I, I loved it. I did love it, but I noticed that the mass production of it, it, like you don't even get to look at the house that you finished, man. Just you're going gone, to the no matter even if you're doing custom, yeah. it's cutthroat. The amount of work is excruciating. But if I didn't do that, I wouldn't be the artist today, making the stretchers, being able to make yeah. the frames, whatever, quickly enough. A lot of the techniques that I use in the art, art from yeah. carpentry. Uh, everything you learn makes you that much more rounded as yeah. you get older, right? And uh, you will you use it in your arsenal. Like, uh, you know, I don't know, man. I think uh, love is, is the key to make sure that you're not hating upon. Uh, it's easy to get caught up and look at everybody else, but yeah. uh, try to, understand where everybody's going and so do you have, uh, um, with that being said not looking at other people have yeah. you ever had anybody try to recreate something you've done copycats no yeah yeah and uh, you know uh, I, I try right away not to fixate in that because you can go off the wall 
and act like a fool. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah what yeah, are you yeah. doing? Like, obviously, you should be, you should be kind of uh, honored. Yeah. It's a compliment. Guy, and I see it a lot. I mean, there's stuff that was done fakes. I saw like guys producing, you know. Uh, shower curtains, you know, bags, and we had to get uh, lawyers for that. Yeah. I was shocked. Set up the Using cease and my name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. so that uh, was shocking, but no, I, I think uh, it's a great thing when you're uh, influencing other people. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, Toronto is one of the greatest cities in the world. There's a lot of greatness coming out of here. People underrated. It's number one in the world with creativity, music, art. It's a fucking uh, mega, <laughs> yeah. megapolis, uh, and it's uh, got a lot of energy. And, yeah, it's uh, true, it's true. Uh, it's got a good energy where it's not too big, and people here, what is the greatest thing that I see from art collectors is that they can actually appreciate somebody else's work. So it, I'm, honored to be working with people that can instead of saying i can do that yeah, yeah. well too bad i already did it so you know what, what, what you okay let's say uh because obviously it's people who collect your art like i've seen you do yeah. multiple paintings in the same household whatever yeah you don't have to give a name but your biggest your biggest uh collector yeah how many paintings do you think they have of yours I, I got guys who have 30 you know what I, I, come I, on like i'll tell you one thing we made a good menu yeah <laughs> I, I don't even know how i'm not that intelligent but i'll tell you one thing i made a menu you don't like the jelly bean take the napa valley you don't like the napa valley take the sp2 series you don't like yeah. the sp2 take the soft sand for you take uh, the black and white series whatever series it is what's that what does sp stand for sp2 uh, it's just splash of color too oh, okay cool, so cool, was, cool. you know all these napa valley took me to napa valley yeah. i'm heading to korea actually i'm not heading to Korea this time but I'm having another show there all these series were just foods on the menu yeah, yeah, yeah why would I produce the same painting over and over and only offer one you don't need the same thing every day why <laughs> are you doing the same thing over and over dealers love it where you're brandable but I love to one day uh, do some abstract heads the yeah. next day I'm doing some jelly beans or whatever some black one how, how did the jelly bean come? Because I feel like that's like, that's it. Has yeah. that been your most successful? The, the Napa Valley is the highest selling, uh, you okay. know, sold paintings for 70,000 US. That's yeah. it's huge money. Jesus uh, Christ. I, can, I can't even, I, sometimes I, you know, I don't want to say anything. It's <laughs> a lot of money, right? From, you know, I, I'm surprised. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, the the jelly bean series because I, I have one in my house yeah, yeah and I'm honored like, to, yeah, yeah no I'm on here man yeah. it's fucking well you want it so it's fucking beautiful yeah but, you want it so but, that uh, wasn't rigged either a lot of people think <laughs> we have a girl oh, I thought that was rigged bro you yeah. told me that was rigged no it was rigged it was rigged <laughs> no, no. Hey, don't lie to me it was yeah. rigged hey guys yeah. it was rigged hey guys yeah. rigged <laughs> so look at this like what? I'm gonna tell you this there was a, a young girl who named her uh, nicknamed her kid jelly bean and she won one too wow. and she was she couldn't uh, swing uh, the prices and she entered the contest and then she won so yeah. i mean uh, here's what it is look the jelly bean series and i'm not gonna lie it was made one day in the studio my friend was there and uh, i said how am i gonna produce these paintings to make money to pay my rent yeah so i took a brush boom 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 all kinds of colors and he was going crazy saying i don't like that what are you doing cut it out i said get away from me bro so i kept <laughs> doing it and i said i'm gonna do it and then finally when it was done i seen i said that's what you're gonna get all yeah. these beautiful colors and he was like i don't like it and i said yeah good we're gonna launch it so i launched it <laughs> and uh, you know we put it in the avenue road gallery in yorkville and uh, after two weeks my wife was like, you know, they were huge. Uh, we pulled them back out. Uh, you know, they didn't sell. And then we got all these calls. Where's those paintings? How much? The funny thing is, is color can cause wars. I have a red flag. You have a blue flag. We're going to go at it. People are afraid of color. Yeah. That's what the Jelly Bean series was. It was truly a celebration of color. And, uh, you know, I could go on and on about things that happened with the Jelly Bean series, people that didn't really like it, that ended up purchasing it. <laughs> uh, I think it's a celebration of ideals, yeah. races, yeah. but color. Yeah. And after a while, you know, it was really a rough painting, brush strokes, it became more round and more uh, uh, perfected. Some people, you know, yeah. and a lot of commissions 
don't use this color, don't use that. So it can get a little bit uh, handcuffing yeah. when you're doing commissions, right, on a jelly bean series. I like to take it back to its roots mm -hmm. where it's just whipped on their huge brush strokes, boom. And uh, see, take I, I, I gotta get an OG. I gotta get an OG. Yeah, just yeah. fucking. Let me know the next time you have a giveaway. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm signing up all kinds, bro. <laughs> I know, but we're, <laughs> we gotta get one in here. We gotta get yeah, one we'll in here. Yeah, we'll I mean. get a big one in here. I mean, uh, you know, I can go on and on about everything, but it's always a work in progress. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Where are we going to? Where are you guys going to? Is everything perfectly planned? I don't think it is, I think. Yeah, but it's weird because if somebody didn't know you, yeah, they'd think there's like so like this method to the madness, you know? <laughs> there really isn't. <laughs> there, there, there could be like deep down, I think we all know where we're going. It's like somebody buying a painting off me. Uh, we don't push anybody. They truly know what they want. Yeah. We just kind of bring that out with some uh, curating or some, uh, uh, you know, uh, consulting. Uh, you know what you want. Yeah. <laughs> I was just gonna yeah. make sure that we help you yeah. attain that what you're looking for, and then yeah. they see it. They're like, "Wow, you're not gonna force somebody to buy something that they don't like." So what we're doing is we're bringing joy. I'm bringing joy to people's homes, and uh, uh, you know, hopefully, we can continue that all over the world. And uh, that's has, it. Has the has the pandemic affected your work at all? Well, the galleries. Uh, I'm gonna say in the beginning it did. I did a COVID series live on, on Instagram. Uh, was very nervous. You know, what's happening here? Lockdown, it's never happened before. Am I gonna lose everything? What, you know, what is happening here? And pacing around in the studio. Yeah. And uh, boom, uh, put the paint down and all of a sudden I, I painted the painting called The Blue Gorilla and uh, three hours later, I lost all the anxieties and I forgot all about the COVID lockdown. So I continue to just do that. And my, my, I was shocked at people were throwing money at us, man. I was getting guys at the yeah. door saying, look, I'm not coming in, but here's 10,000 those. Up. I was like, the world is melting here and you guys are buying art. Like what's going on here? I noticed how art was the highest on the pyramid. People need it. Yeah. It's yeah. not a joke. You need it in your life. It's true. Art is important to humanity. Even from the early days when guys were blowing pigment through their hand onto a cave wall. Yeah. It was the essence of humanity. This is who I am. Check out my hand, bro. This yeah. is what art is. You know what I yeah, mean? Like, yeah, yeah. It's a statement. It's a, it's a magic. I can attest yeah. to that. Having, having art like in my room now, Compared to when I did yeah, it, yeah. it changed. It yeah. changed the vibe of my room completely. Of I know course. you've been rocking. Like you, you have like what, like a painting. Yeah, 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 it yeah. brings, of course, of Anthony, course. Uh, body of mind. It brings flavor yeah. to yeah. the soup. Already a good soup. <laughs> Put the lights on. That's yeah. all you're doing. You know, putting the lights on in a room and enhancing without electrical. What do you have? The the sun is great, but what happens when it goes down? Yeah, you gotta have that that art kind of bringing. The light into a home yeah right i want to i want to talk about and we can talk about this quickly but i'm just curious yeah. you showed me when i was at uh when i was at your spot you showed me all these fucking dude these like three million year old paintings bro this one's a thousand years old this one's yeah, fucking this 17th century 16th century, 17th century. Yeah. Yeah. Guy, this guy showing you this egg what, what kind of egg was it oh, that's an ostrich, ostrich egg an okay. ostrich egg a real ostrich century, egg yeah it's from the 17th century bro it's like it's carved out and there's like these like they're like detailed scenes of like these guys on yeah, boats Antarctica, and actually wailing right so on the egg you know, on the egg yeah. on the egg bro from the 17th century this yeah. egg though so oh, you see like a fucking that, yeah, so, so the truth about how, how, how did you how did you like how did you start collecting that shit and how long before you start I collecting collect it I collect anything which kind of uh, I'm, I'm seeking truth right and uh, art has shown me a lot of truth I mean that egg if you look at it you know it's showing you how barbaric humans are even back then killing these whales mm. and uh, they were already in antarctica and they were already massacring these whales and there's example of it and then there's guys saying well antarctica was founded this was found in the 19th century they were there before that and they were shipping there and so the truth 
is sometimes hidden. You know, what was America? When was America founded? Founded by who? <laughs> How can you find it when people were already there? Yeah. So you know what I mean. What did you find? Yeah. So what you're saying in this art, you're see, you've you've you actually see the it's truth. like history. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah, see yeah. the truth. So you know, look at uh, what's happening. Uh, if you seek the truth, you, you'll find it. It's pretty easy to see what you're looking at. <laughs> uh, <and people laughs> yeah, we lost that. We've lost, yeah, that we've lost a lot of that logic. because, it's called, you know, it's, it's like looking at a, a painting of a, a banana, yet the title says orange. So I said, <laughs> but that's an orange, bro. Well, it says banana, but it's an orange, but it says banana. But it's a fucking orange, bro. <laughs> so you know what I mean? See, so you got to say to the, you know, you got to watch orange. because yeah. people, and that's what it is when you find paintings. And I, I fight with uh, the auction houses and uh, I've authenticated a lot of paintings and uh, finding enough provenance and, and finding enough, uh, uh, you know, finding the models in the 17th century painting and other paintings, proving it without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, there finding was one, it in the catalog was the name. He pulled up one painting. Um, and said it was from the 1750s and whatever century it was from. Yeah. And uh, and he was showing me that like the the, the auction house wouldn't authenticate it and say like this this painting's not. Well, truly. they can't. The auction houses are not the authority on anything. But so. whoever yeah. was was saying pretty much. Yeah. The auction house was saying, bro, like this this isn't a real painting yeah, from this yeah, person yeah. from this guy. Yeah. They're and this guy this guy got a fucking book. He started we got research whatever you found it in the guy's yeah, book. Yeah. The catalog was an A. That that's a painting that uh, was for sale for five hundred dollars. I paid like seventy thousand for it and. Uh, uh, was met with tremendous resistance and you know I heard stories like uh, because I look like my sister it does not make me my sister but listen to me you know I know the artist's work and I knew the date it was 1926 uh, the artist uh, had a studio across from Picasso and we ended up finding the signature yeah. and uh, the painting in the catalog was and it was a million dollar painting yeah. so uh, you know I, I, I was you know what was the, the whole thing I bought the painting was five hundred dollars? Yeah. Paid seventy thousand. I knew what I was looking at. Yeah. I believed in myself, but to to get m met with this, you know, resistance and oh, it's maybe not real, possibly a fake, and <laughs> oh yeah, and that can hurt you if you don't believe in yourself. Yeah. But at the end, you know, I had my wife say to me, Peter, how do you feel? Do you feel good? Not really. I knew what it was. In the beginning, yeah. I knew the dating, and did I find it in the catalog resume owned by the one of the biggest artists, art collectors in the world? Yeah, it puts a feather in your hat. <laughs> but I knew what it was, and uh, one day I'll show you guys. I wouldn't <laughs> mind writing a film on, uh, like uh, documenting some of the stuff I found, because, you know, yeah, I got uh, seven Paisetta paintings. He's one of the greatest 18th century painters. And I have three self-portraits of the guy, wow. some of his finest work. And uh, the only reason I got it is uh, people will say, well, maybe the artist has given it to you. No, he's not. I actually love the artist so much that I make it my duty to seek out his work. And uh, information, if you love something, you retain things like a sponge. Yeah. I could tell you a million things about a certain thing, but if you don't like it, it goes in and yeah. out. Yeah. But if you love something, you you tend to retain the information. So with paintings, I loved them to the point where it drove me nuts. Collecting can drive you nuts. You could spend millions <laughs> of dollars, so it can get pretty hectic. But uh, I'm honored to have uh, seen the paintings I have seen. I used to restore paintings, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, I have a pretty big collection, and I'm, you know, here I am, a, a little boy, five years old, that came from the mountains of Greece. What was there? You were Just a man, was, and I got some of these old, man, yeah, you know, like the olive oil, yeah. <laughs> the real gold. You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, and here I am, like, uh, I've had some 17th century paintings that would shake you, man. Yeah, that's crazy. And, you know, like, you know, helmets, collecting 17th century helmets. I mean, looking at them etched, uh, all kinds of things. That ostrich egg, like, you know, I have, I don't want to say I have Picasso drawings. I mean, yeah. you know, where, how did I get them? Because I was lucky enough to have been introduced to the art world. I could imagine my life if I never found the arts. Would it be lacking something? Yes, I think that's... All yeah. I have to say right there, really. You yeah, know? yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I found it by now, though. Anyways, 
I have to thank the Lord that yeah, I, I yeah. did find him because yeah, I'll yeah, tell yeah. you one thing, man. I I may have been a lost sheep. Uh, the art was something that gave me great joy, and yeah. and I think it gave me a great respect. Respecting another person's work and admiring is a very, of course, rare trait. Yeah. The, we, you know what I'm curious about? I'm curious about touching on that from a collecting standpoint and then obviously your own art and your galleries and now yeah. you want to do the NFT like you're moving into NFT world yeah. and all that stuff what like why at this point are you still pushing so hard to continue growing like a lot of people I feel like at your level would now just be like okay you know what I'm good I'm standing I'll do my commissions I'll make yeah. my money it's gonna cottage you know what I mean grab yeah. a cottage bro we're gonna find a <laughs> nice know. car I don't know other way. what I the hell keeps you like something's you're still driving me to you know but when it's all said and done I want to put a, a dagger in Canadian art history yeah. I want to say this guy from the mountains of Greece or whatever came here. Yeah. And yeah, you guys don't own the art world. Yeah. Nobody owns it. I'm gonna step in it. Hope you don't mind. Yeah. And that's all. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like nobody owns the art world. Everybody should be participating. Mm -hmm. There's no rule why somebody of wealth should have access to it. You know, throughout the history, art has been a secret for the rich. Uh, and, uh, you know, they would give little prints to small towns, but the, the greatest collectors were always of great wealth and art. But everyone should have access, and they should start making it mandatory that in schools that you need to paint, and you need to fucking paint every day. Yeah. All right, just for some size. I was going to say, we're going we're gonna <laughs> to yeah. Peter for fucking prime minister. Well, you know what? Uh, if I was the prime minister, I would say like this, right off the bat, 25 years old, 25,000 in your bank account. Oh, nice. 50 years old, 50,000, you worked hard on Give it back. If you give it yeah. back anyway. Like, give some yeah, yeah, back, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is these rules? Like, put a four-day work week, man. I want to ask you about social media, because... You're, you're on social media. You're, I'm on you're social pretty, media. You're pretty active. Yeah. I, I why, why is it important for you to, to be active on socials? You know, come on. Like I know, I know. I know. know. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, remember that dealer that said, you know, how did you find your way in here? Yeah. I have social media, so I don't have to find my way in your place, brother. Yeah. I will find my own way. Artists today have a voice. Yeah. Because if somebody says to an artist, hey, listen, I don't think I want to support you or your kind, but I have social media, and now I can open up on that platform, and I could talk all day. I could say yippity doo da or whatever yeah. I want to say, and if everybody wants to hear me, yeah. then so be it. I don't really push the envelope of social media. I'd like to have a little bit more guts and, 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 and say a few more things. You can say uh, it now, though. Yeah, you know, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, social media, uh, you, you got to be careful. What do you want to say, uh, you know, you, bro? You, you Listen, have to, what this do you is the say? only podcast in Toronto that you can say whatever the yeah, fuck what do you, you want to say. I think bro. I said a lot. So, you know, I don't want to look like I, because I could ramble on forever, but yeah. there's so much to say. There's so much to straighten Was, this world Has out. social media opened any doors for you? Like so, you being uh, present, has it given you opportunity? Meet it, meet anyone? Like, well, you know? I don't want to say it in the worst way people listen to me. I mean, uh, you know, it's given me a voice. Social media art has given me a voice. And uh, I want to make sure that I, I don't say something that's hateful. I want to respect everybody as much as I can, but I want to help the young gen. Look, I spend time with artists. I don't have to, man. I was, I'm the old guy in the, in the area, everybody knows. <laughs> I was one of the first guys to have my own gallery with my name on it. Peter Trianto's art gallery. Who is this fucking guy? What is he doing? <laughs> yeah. I was sneaking my paintings in there. <laughs> you know, I remember, so I don't even want to get into stories where a guy said, you know, I had some old master paintings and I was sneaking some of mine in there and some guy turned around, he was an art dealer, he said, you see that painting, that's a masterpiece. And I was there like, you know, but that's my painting, I didn't want to tell him, yeah, I put yeah. it in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I felt really like, yeah, you guys yeah. know nothing, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what is a masterpiece? That's yeah. my work, I'm sneaking it in there. And I quickly started realizing that a lot of these art dealers, they didn't even know what they were talking about. It was scary. Yeah, yeah. They were collecting stuff and and I was saying stuff like, you know, here's a 17th century painting, but behind the scenes, 
But Peter, is this real? I don't know. You don't know if it's real. You don't know what you're looking at. Is that a real panel? Is the canvas yeah. right? Is the herringbone weave right? You guys are lying. You don't even know what you're looking yeah, at. Yeah, I can tell yeah. you. Wow. So then it's when it really started hitting me. I said, man. No one really knows that. <laughs> I was in New York and this guy said to me like this, well, yeah. we only buy art with provenance. We're a well-established gallery. And I said, yeah, well. That just tells me that you don't know what you're looking at, so you need a piece of paper to tell you what you're looking at. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and he was what's offended. A pro, what's a problem? Provenance is basically a, a, something, a paper stating. That's and real. I'm looking at this cell oh. phone. It's an Apple iPhone. I need a piece of paper to tell me. Well, because I can't look at it, and I see it's a phone, bro. And that phone might be broken, so why is this paper telling me it's perfectly normal? And You know, it's yeah. people buy with fear, and they need something. You know, people ask me, does it come with a certificate from the artist? You bought it from me. I'm the <laughs> fucking artist. Man. You're installing it, no? This guy's installing it, yeah. bro. Does it have a certificate of but, authenticity? Yeah, yeah. I am the author of this work. That, but, then, but then go check my Instagram because you'll see yeah. me fucking putting it up on the wall. There's your proof. Yeah. You know, I, I, I like what you do on social media. You're very, like you said, you're just primitive. Yourself, bro. You're just yourself. No, but it's very bro. primitive. There's, yeah. no, it's like, primitive. there's no like professional fucking no, film but, crew flying around. No, no, I like it though. I like it. You got to watch the it's, social media. I, I know what it is. It's, you know. <laughs> hey, it's me, Peter Triantos, here again. <laughs> you know, that was <laughs> a little bit I of got a, it. I don't even know how that came up. I got that one. <laughs> <That's laughs> <me, Peter laughs> but what it is, is like social media, you can get goaded in there because a couple of days ago I was like in my studio. And one of, I had one of the guys who worked with me, and I had a credit card. I said, I'll throw this through the cardboard. I'll throw it into your rib cage. I told him for a joke, right? He says, you'll never put it. So I, we put it through. I threw it through the cardboard. Bang. And it was like throwing cards. I remember when I was a kid, and I, I went into the cardboard. So we put it on uh, TikTok. I'm not a big TikTok guy. And some guy turned around and said, yeah, you threw a hard card through a soft cardboard. Actually, the hard cardboard was just as hard as three ply car the point was you're wasting your time <laughs> posting something bro i don't care so you know what it is like you gotta watch that you don't get quoted oh, yeah. right so, okay. so i watch and and i actually like there's one uh, thing that i got on on facebook which i don't really use a lot but there's a lot of attacking hmm. what oh, i'm yeah. doing yeah. there saying like yeah anybody could do that man good i already did it See you yeah. later. So when you see a lot of attacks sometimes, that could be a really good thing. Yeah. So you got to watch that social media, like, 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 like. Maybe it's good that somebody doesn't like it because yeah. you're, you're saying the truth, you yeah. know. And I know uh, uh, some artists that, uh, you know, in L.A., good friend, you know, I don't want to say, you know, you can't let social media get to you. It can, it can destroy you. Yeah. Right? So you got to... Still be who you are, and not just always being, you know, we're perfect, this is what we do, yeah, yeah. and this yeah, is yeah. what we do, like, yeah, yeah. you know, uh, we don't always get it right, I mean, uh, I shoot those videos in two seconds, yeah. out of sight, boom. I yeah. know, yeah, 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 you do. You know. Uh, hey, it's me, Peter Chantos. Yeah, Can yeah, you and you know, like, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, sometimes, <laughs> Please do the left put it this way, like, uh, people, like authenticity yeah and they know when you're doing something that they know maybe it's not perfect but you're trying and you're you're going to a direction where you feel it's right because you know you can spend a lot of time on one painting and do a million things on it and get famous yeah one painting yeah I sell a lot of paintings I don't have time to start <laughs> making yeah. everything boxed perfectly right oh, who's the who, who's the Who's the most interesting person or most like you like you just wouldn't believe that you'd be selling a painting to this person? Like, do you have anybody like that? You're like, holy shit, I never would have thought. Or even a, a place. Like, I never yeah, thought I'd be putting. Yeah, there's so many. But, you know, recently, like, I'll be honest with you, uh, Tate McRae, I was listening to her music, pop music, and I was listening to it on the radio because I listened to just anything, you know. And I was, I told my wife, I said, look at the singer. I, re I really like even though it's pop music, I like her voice. I think it's authentic. It's, and next thing you know, she ended up uh, f filming her, her video at my studio. And uh, so meeting her and uh, getting her a piece, uh, 
that was a big deal because although she's only 17 years old, I was a fan yeah. of her, her music. Yeah. I liked her style. So there's so many people. I mean, you know, Nicole Scherwinger, like, I mean. That's crazy. You know, we sold to so many people. Like, I don't really, my clients are all amazing. Yeah. 99.9% yeah, yeah. .9 of them are spectacular so cats. Like that answer. Yeah. See, there you go. Yeah. See, now, yeah. now, now we're talking business. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. of my clients are the best. Yeah, they are. They yeah, are. Yeah. They are, yeah. Yeah, I no, mean, fair, uh, fair. We're, we're fortunate, right? Of course. So, yeah, man, that's, yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's insane. And, and I always go back to it. And it's something that I always tell people just like, I still can't believe you're just going at the fucking pace you're going. Yeah. <laughs> you're giving me the, the nervousness. I mean, <laughs> I don't know any other way to be honest yeah. with you. I do get met with a lot of like uh, people. Do you really need to do that? Do you really need to do that? How are you going to get your point across, man? Like, what is is your point across is, what am I trying to say? Is everybody's entitled to live on this life? You only live once. Yeah. Why aren't we allowed to actually fucking live, bro? Do what we want. I'm going to be a doctor because I got to make money. I'm going to be a dentist because it's good money. What happened to being a good human being and living? You know, people are on the beach looking at their phone of uh, another beach. <laughs> you know, what the fuck, man? You're on the beach, bro. Like, what are you doing? It, you know, it's... It, you know, try to keep your phone in your pocket and go around with your girlfriend or your wife around the block. It's like you're going... You don't know how to be. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. Is, yeah this yeah. is yeah. probably the most interesting time where humans become cyborgs in such a quick time. Can the brain handle this type of, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. behavior? I, I, I think, don't think so. You know what? It's actually funny you say that. You know, it was always, it was always like, it was always like told. It was gonna be like Terminator. You know, they're yeah. gonna be half human, half yeah, cyborg. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's there, but this, there. No, but this yeah. has turned. Yeah. This has turned us into half cyborg. Yeah, we're there, our phones we're have there turned right us there. now, and uh, and uh, AI. Yeah, you know everybody knows they're gonna invest in that. If you I really saw they're doing um, uh, robot police officers in, in yeah, the I, I dogs. Think, I think it was the, yeah, the dogs. The dogs. The dogs. Uh, I mean, well, are you gonna? You know, bro, you can't do nothing against <laughs> no, that. No, 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 this, no. this is uh, That's yeah, robot, but you done. know, this is something that we can't fear because if you go back in, even into the. Uh, you know, 500, 600 years ago, there's mummies yeah. with fake teeth and, yeah, yeah, and of fake, course, uh, of course. Uh, like, f f uh, prosthetic limbs yeah. and stuff. So this is nothing new, yeah. Yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. And uh, to fear something like this, hey, man, we could have came from another fucking planet. How do you know yeah, we yeah. didn't destroy Mars and yeah, come yeah, here? Yeah. So what are we worried about? We could have flew in artificial intelligence. Where did we really come from? I mean, why don't you look at uh, megalithic structures? Look at what actually, what are we actually believing? Yeah, we might true. be here on this planet for billions of years. I, I actually some. saw something, uh, 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 Easter Island. You know what yeah. Easter Island is? Bro, it's like this dinky little island in the fucking middle of the yeah. ocean, bro. It's like 2,000 kilometers away from yeah. land. And it's like, there's no house, no nothing, bro. Really and there's, here, yeah. oh, fuck. Yeah. You know? and uh and and bro there's like these structures that they're fucking 20 feet tall yeah, like these yeah. massive heads of course, and all 20, the fuck. those are just the footings and some of those uh, i know they go deep they yeah, go into some the of ground those foundations you couldn't put a human hair through and, they, and they're billions of years old that's so, crazy so where's like, the where, technology where, where, where did we even come from you know where do we we're really gonna find out from? soon bro trust me yeah. i think i think yeah. so we're <laughs> close i think we're gonna get some fucking well wasn't there something a couple of days ago where google or somebody released the some UFO madness. Oh, they're doing, yeah, they're putting out all the UFO stuff now. Yeah, now it's it? going to be the norm yeah. when they talk about it. It's Watch. It's probably going to be all fake shit. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever they want to put know. out, they're going to put out. Yeah. That's how it works. Peter, I have a question for you, okay? We're the MBH podcast. You know what MBH stands for? Sorry? We're the MBH podcast. Yeah. Do you know what that stands for? No. Money buys happiness. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, <laughs> next time you want to go to a restaurant with no money, let me know. When yeah, 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 let me know. <laughs> so, you know. Wait, what do you, what do you, what do you think of the statement? What do you think Absolutely. of the statement? Absolutely, it's a true statement. I mean, uh, man, you know, I could tell you stories, brother. That, <laughs> you know, I, I, I flew into New York, my first show in New York. And, uh, man, I'll tell you, I had no money, and I was in an event there. It was probably about 15,000 U.S. I flew into New York, never had exhibited in an art show, and I had no money. Went in there with no money. And, uh, you know, went in to get my 
my booth? The lady said, there's a balance here on your account. I said, yeah, I'm just transferring some money and I'll get it in the afternoon. And I went in there. I hadn't shown with any other artists before and I went into this booth, thousands of artists, and I put my work up. I took a chance that I don't know if anybody would take. My, my wife was with me. <laughs> and uh, I sold the painting right away. I went all the way to Manhattan. I hung the painting and got paid. I didn't only do that once, I did it many times with no money. But I believed in myself so much that I knew that I wouldn't fail. So you went. I swear to God, I did it without no hotel so money. Went, I, I was gonna say, so you went there with no money I did it, yeah. and just put your paintings well, up. Yeah, I said, yeah, you know what? If I had to, uh, I had to do something, I'll take somebody down if I had to go. <laughs> Somebody's gonna pay for it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I always yeah. said, I'm gonna do this. I went in, I sold the uh, art pieces. You know, the guy said to me, why, why are you selling this to me? I said, because I want you to have it. It's an important piece. I think your family should have it. I think it's an important piece, you know. And he bought it. And, I, and, you know, what do you want me to tell you? I can't pay for my booth. No, listen, there's times where you... Yeah. But I was genuine. Yeah. I wanted to sell. But I did do that. And I want people to know it's not easy, man. Yeah, yeah. So, you, you so know, I guess my, so my so money helps the cost. Yeah, yeah. Money buys happiness. Like I said, if I give you $200,000, you'll do a little dance even if you have a bad knee. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> does money buy happiness? Yes. Yeah. Whoever tells you it doesn't. Has never you had know, money. That money doesn't make you all, can make you better, can make you happier. I mean, money is the root of all evil. Money is the root of all happiness. You take what you want from it. It's money buys you freedom. That's what we're all fucking chasing. Yeah. That's why we're chasing this money. You know, to get a little bit of freedom, hopefully. If you do the right things, or it can buy you a prison cell because <laughs> you got a million things and you, yeah. you don't know what you're doing with that money. I have that problem. So, uh, you know, I, I keep putting the money into new things, but with the right intentions of course, in mind to make sure that, listen, we're all given a voice, right? What is your voice going to be to the future generation? When you're 60 years old, you guys, what are you going to be saying? Are you going to be saying, let me worry about only me or let me try to spread something that I know to help a kid not have to of face course. the madness that, that uh, you faced or, or I faced, you know? So I got to buy Doxa. That's what you got to buy, I think. <laughs> you know, Doxa right now, uh, it's in the beta mode, but I think uh, it's new ground. If you fear new ground, NFTs, you asked me the question earlier, will it change the art world? It's already has changed the art world. Yeah. I mean, there's uh, NFTs that have sold for $71 million. Fucked. People, right? Yeah. That's crazy, you know, bro. Who's behind that? What's going on? <laughs> That's fine. Mean, think about that. <laughs> That's right? crazy, bro. I can't yeah. believe it. Okay, so, so, yeah. so, so can, we, can we expect some NFTs from you or what? We're going to do, do one together. We're going to do one together. We're going to launch Come it. On. And, and I'm, I'm already in. We already signed contracts. Yeah, we did it all <laughs> before. Got, yeah. yeah. So, you know, I mean, that's something that has to be done. I mean, I'm, I'm here to support and, and we support each other uh, to get the NFTs launched. We're going to send, uh, possibly, we're not even going to talk about it because yeah, we can't we'll, give away too we'll much. Get too much. Yeah. Can't give away too Peter, much. Peter, where can anyone find you online if they want to find Peter you? Peter Triantos. I'll put it in person. Where can they find you in person? Well, in person, <laughs> I wouldn't go for that right now. I'm, all, I'm elusive. Uh, 15 Brandon is where my studio is, but well, I wouldn't show up. Yeah. But PeterTriantos.com. That's better. And at Peter Triantos, like everybody knows where my studios are, have a gallery in Yorkville opening up another place in Yorkville for October uh, with NFTs on the window that you're going to be able to buy breed, breed, right off the window. We won't even be there. Like, uh, it's, it's, it's a new world. Isn't it? That's crazy. Are, are, you, are you, can people catch you at Yorkville? Is that a, is that a common occurrence or what? Because hey, I, ta I tagged you. I'm you not, see, yeah, I tagged I'm you. I'm not the there, though. I, I, I go there. Uh, I've been open there for a month. I've been there three, four times to uh, 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 change some art and stuff. 
I'm not there. Uh, I want to maybe do a live painting there. Mm. I want to be there at Yorkville more once a, a month. Yeah. Uh, you know, to <laughs> I want to be there more once a month. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't. Yeah. I'm a busy guy, bro. <laughs> what do I want to say? Once bro? a month is a big deal. <laughs> but I'd like to meet people and I love meeting people. So uh, it is a big deal to me, especially when, when I'm at Yorkville or, and, 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 you know, being there for an hour, I meet so many people. I'm like, Man, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, amazing yeah. to talk to young artists coming up and, you know, whatever, I follow you or whatever, just hearing their stories. And, and if I can give any advice, uh, I do give it pretty quickly. Say, man, just work, man. Mm -hmm. uh, make the product. Uh, don't try to be perfect because uh, you're not going to reach perfection. Nobody does. Uh, just do it, right? It's like when I was in my 20s, I wanted to make a, a painting, and I was always like, I can't wait to make that masterpiece. And... I'm gonna make it soon. Yeah. But one day, yeah, one day, yeah. just fucking paint, yeah, just paint. paint and a masterpiece. Uh, over time, uh, I think all the works are one. That's yeah. why they have retrospectives of the yeah. artist. Yeah. You know what are you trying to say? Not one painting is gonna define who you are. Yeah. Is one moment define who we are? That's why a podcast like this, you know, uh, is hard to really get uh, an idea who you're really humans are complicated man yeah, it's true they're very complicated i mean even a cat is super complicated yeah. you know they have feelings i can assure you of that people are are surprised that how come you know if a cat sees you six months later and he knows who you are that means he has memory yeah that he has feelings so he remembers that's crazy like people yeah. don't understand we are not the alpha in all animals every every animal shares you know equal status on this yeah. planet yeah but humans have taken it to the level where we have a soul man we're blessed uh, we can do what we want let's tear down the trees uh, put an a and w here fam was, you know we finally just smashed the a and w yeah, yeah you know what i'm saying like, you know what i'm saying like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like uh, everybody has a place yeah i get uh, i saw on geary avenue four rabbits hair is running down and, Early in the morning, I stopped my truck, and I'm like, they don't got a fucking place, man. There's trains here, there's cars, yeah, they're yeah. going to die here. Yeah. This is their fucking place. A hawk in my backyard came yeah, right up on the pole. Yeah, there's hawks around, too. Yeah, there's hawks around. Huge hawks. Yeah. Where's the fucking problem? Yeah, yeah, Where yeah, are yeah. we going to party, man? Yeah. You guys took everything, you know? <laughs> oh. So we have to be more uh, respectful of uh, of nature. We've done a, a yeah. really bad job, and uh, hopefully art makes the changes that are needed going i think it i think it's doing a good job yeah i agree bro having said that i think you know, listen peter it's been a pleasure yeah, man. man i feel like we can go forever we can I run know, this forever. I, I probably do go <laughs> no no we can, we can go forever but it's, it's been an absolute pleasure we'll I'm uh, honored, uh we, we gotta we're, we're, gonna we're gonna chat get a piece too we gotta get yeah, a, we're gonna get a piece, piece in here number one we're gonna put it in here we're gonna probably uh, you know meet up again in my studio maybe have a chat over there do something yeah yeah or in uh, yorkville have yeah, an event that'd be nice i want to yeah. have you guys there maybe do a podcast live from yorkville uh, pump it up and uh, I think that might be something cool there uh, yeah well, the, we'll, we'll have downtown. to discuss it we'll have to discuss it but get some yeah. NFTs going get yeah? some NFTs that's the goal oh, but that's what we want fucking down thank you guys no, with that Real being down. said Dean we out